welcome welcome back welcome back i got a message for you that message is be reconciled let's pray father god we come before your throne of grace and mercy lord god just saying thank you oh lord thank you thank you thank you thank you lord you're worthy of all honor of all praise and of all glory we keep none for ourselves oh lord father god have your way father god have your way we ask lord god that you go into homes lord god lord god that you cleanse minds that you cleanse hearts lord god that you renew the right spirit within your people oh lord thank you oh lord we call it done lord god watch over the children lord god cover them and keep them oh lord Lord, I submit myself unto you. Use me. Have your way. And it's in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Be reconciled. We have 2 Corinthians 5, 16 through 19. From now on, then, we do not know anyone in a purely human way. Even if we have known Christ in a purely human way, yet now we no longer know him in this way. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away and look, new things have come. Everything is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And he has committed the message of reconciliation to us. Be reconciled, my brothers and sisters, on today. Back to the Lord. Be reconciled, my brothers and sisters. Be reconciled. Accept. Accept the invitation. My brothers and sisters, you will not, you will not regret it. It is the best protection in the world that you could ever have. The Holy Spirit is a teacher of truth, uncovering things that cannot be seen. before you uncovering seat deep seated secret things you get the intel on it all my brothers and sisters now i gotta get real i gotta get real with you God has been dealing with me for a very long time, my brothers and sisters, a very long time about the secret ways of people that are in the midst of me. And I got to tell you something. Their secrets are not so secret, my brothers and sisters. And that reason being is because I am connected to the source. And as you connect yourself to the source, which is truth, the Holy Spirit, Father God, whatever you want to call it on today, those secret things that people are whispering around you, they're the things they are not saying would not be so secret anymore. Open 
your eyes. Open your ears. Listen. Because the Holy Spirit is speaking. The Lord is speaking to you. He's trying to show you something. Yes, the world is in chaos. But you don't have to be. You don't have to be in chaos. My brothers and sisters, trust the truth of God on today. It can lead you out of the most dire situations. Yes, it can. Out of the lion's den. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. It can lead you out of the pit of hell. Whatever that hell may be. Your life is precious. Preserve it on today. Accept the truth. Accept the wisdom of God. Be reconciled. Accept the relationship that comes with truth, honesty. You can, you'll be able to see things much clearer when God gives you the knowledge and understanding to deal with any and every situation that presents itself to you. Therefore, you will be able to help those within your household and outside of your household. Know that the Lord loves you on today. Yes, he does. And he wants nothing but the best for you. And he also wants to preserve and keep you. Hold on to his hand. Do not let it go. I pray that you will continue in truth. That you will search for it. That if something bothers you, you will go looking for it. And my brothers and sisters, you will find it. So on today, I'm sending you love, light, and healing energy in Jesus' name. Thank you.